In this video we will show you how to remove V159 actuator on Volkswagen Passat B6 from 2006 to 2010 in 16 steps. How do you know that your V159 actuator needs replacement? So you have to be sure that you don't have to replace the heater core. One of your fault codes from your VCDS scan tool or any other school is 01810 actuating motor for temperature flap, right V159. When you turn the heat for both sides on, on the left side is blowing hot and the passenger side is blowing cold. It's about HVAC temperature inconsistent. You don't have heat on the passenger side. You hear strange noises from behind the dashboard or HVAC. You have to check if it's blowing cold air from the pollen filter box. Maybe the cover has not been installed correctly. Here you can see where is the location for every, every air circulation flap positioning motor on Volkswagen Passat B6. So you can see the location for V159, V158, V107, V70, V113, V71, V425. This V425 motor is available, start, is available only for models from 2007 and up. You can see that the one of the fault codes from the VCDA scan tool is 01810, actuating motor for temperature flap right, V159. So the V159 motor is located on the left side of the glove box, so we need to remove the glove box first. We will use we will use a T20 Torx. To remove those bolts from the glove box. Remove remove those two bolts from inside the glove box using a T20 Torx. So there's another two on the upper side on 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 the upper side of the glove box. So let's see it. Let's flip the camera and you can see the those two bolts from the dashboard. There it is. The one the first one and the other one. So we will remove those two bolts using a T20 Torx, a, a short T20 Torx. This is the first one. And then the other one. Then you have to remove those three bolts from the bottom side using also a T20 Torx.
then we will use a trim tool you can find this trim tool set in the video description below so we will use a trim tool to remove the plastic cap from the right side of the dashboard Push those plastic pins inside to lower the glove box. Then open the glove box. And then put it down to disconnect all the cables and electrical connectors. So there's these cables that we have to disconnect them. So this is the rubber hose that you have to take it out. Also, you have to remove those plastic tube, that plastic tube, you have to remove that plastic tube. So we start with this electrical connector, this yellow co electrical connector. Pull that blue plastic and then take it out. Then remove this electrical connector from the lamp. You have to push those tabs, those two tabs, to take it out. Then there is the, the third electrical connector. Take that plastic on the side and then pull that connector out. then you have to use a flat blade screwdriver to remove those cables from the glove box then remove the rubber hose from the glove compartment Then you can see the the V159 motor. It's over there with with the blue plastic and black. The next step is to remove those two plastic bolts.
can use your bare hands or you can use a flat blade screwdriver to remove it so this is a plastic bolt then you have to remove the carpet take out take the carpet out then remove the other end of the hose from the HVAC box take it out the T20 torque screw from the air guide tube after that you have to you have to remove the air guide tube you have to take it out just pull it pull it pull it down then you have to remove this bolt you have to remove the though you have to remove that bolt using a t20 torque screw from the plastic part then remove also that bolt using a t20 torque Then remove the plastic part, pulling it down, and then try move it on the left and then on the right side. So this is the plastic part. So you have to remove it very careful not to break anything. Now you can see the V159 motor. So you have to remove those three bolts from the V159 motor in this order. Screw 1, then screw 2, and then screw 3. So we will start with the, the first screw that is on the right side. Those three bolts can be removed using a T20 Starkey wrench Torx L shape or a 5 point or a 5.5 millimeters key wrench we will start with the first screw and we will use a t20 we will use a t10 torx This is the easy part. Don't 
don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. So this is the screw. Then we have to remove the other one. You, if you can see the third one, the, the, the screw number three, it's over there. And then let's see if we, if we can reach on the screw number two. So there it is, the screw number two. The screw, the screw, the screws two and three can be removed using a T10 star key wrench Torx L shape or the hard way making a hole through that metallic part in front of the screw 1 and 2. So we were removing the screw number 2 using T10 star key wrench Torx L shape. With this tool it's easy to, to remove it. The screw number 2. The it's on the upper side, on the left. You can find Starkey wrench set 9 piece from T10 to T50 Torx in the video description below. It's the same with that with, uh, that we're using in our video. So this is the screw number two. We're removing the screw number three in the same way using T10 Starkey wrench torque cell shape. It's a little bit, it's a little bit it's a little bit difficult, but we can uh, remove it in this way. You can find these tools in the video description below. This is the tool. So after you remove the third tool, lift the V159 motor on the right side to remove it from the white plastic arm from the HVAC box. So lift it up on the right side and then pull it out. Then 
then remove the electrical connector from the V159 actuator just press on that small tab from the electrical connector and take it out you can find how to repair V159 motor video tutorial in the video description below so this is the V159 motor or actuator you if you can see there's a code there's a serial number over there 3C09097511 B that is the serial code for serial number for uh, for the new new motor if you want to replace it you have to use the serial the serial number the same serial number in the new video we'll show you how to repair it with only like five dollars five seven dollars Now you can see that the recir recirculation flap motor V159 in the Volkswagen Passat BCS is not working properly. So let's see. So if you can see, this is not normal. If you have any suggestions about new tutorials, let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.